learn a little bit about your story, your upbringing, your background, and some of the other pitfalls you've overcome outside of wrestling in uh, everyday life as a child. Uh, for those of us that may have not been a PWO fan since the beginning and, and may have tuned in late, uh, fill us in very quickly at some of the things that you've overcome in your life that make you such an inspiration and such a strong role model and a strong-willed person to this day. Uh, well, obviously I was born with a disability. It's known as cerebral palsy. It affects the uh, mobility on uh, my right arm and hand. And uh, at birth, I was born uh, just over a pound. I was premature. You know, I was, I was in an incubator for the first couple months of my life. I overcame that. Um, cerebral palsy, seven months of therapy, or seven years of therapy, excuse me. Um, my mom, she was uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol. And um, she actually, you know, about six months ago, she passed away of, of a drug overdose. Uh, you know, and all those things, all those factors, um, the pain that she caused my household uh, and my family, um, getting evicted from houses okay, all, all the time, um, stuff like that, overcoming all those things, the one thing that kept my mind off of it was professional wrestling. And to get into this business, what I've done and how far I go, however far that may be, um, it is truly a dream come true. And if I can inspire one person um, through my story, and what I do in the ring, you know, that means so much to me. Certainly great to hear, and Hobo Joe, well, let's have a little moment. Let's hug it out. You want to get on this, Joe? I'm all right, thank you. Uh, at the inception of PWO in 2007, it was a very trying time in your life uh, because your life almost ended, and, and you almost didn't make it to PWO. Uh, talk a little bit about your first severe concussion and the road back to that, which coincidentally enough was the debut PWO show against Johnny Ariano? Uh, well, in 2007, August of 2007 to be exact, uh, I got a severe concussion, uh, which caused uh, brain bleeding, and I was in the hospital for a week um, due to uh, a match I had. Um, and it almost cost me my life. And I had to take two months away from wrestling. Um, and it, w it was a wake-up call. You know, it, it, uh, it made me realize that you know, not only has my career always been difficult working with a disability, but now I have to come back from this injury and prove to people uh, yet again that I can overcome the odds and uh, not only do I belong in professional wrestling, but now I belong in this brand new promotion, Pro Wrestling Ohio. And uh, I looked at, on the first episode, my match with Johnny Gargano as a major opportunity to prove a lot of people that doubt me wrong. And prove that you did as you defeated Johnny Gargano center of the ring in, in something that really barely anybody gave you credit for being able to possibly do. How much did that mean to you? So much. I, you know, I, I can't even really explain it. Um, you know, at that point, Johnny, even though we're close to the same age, he, did, he had done so much already. He had wrestled and beaten guys like Alex Shelley, Chris Saban, Christopher Daniels, uh, AJ Styles. You know, and, and for me to go in there, um, you know, not only with a disability, but a disadvantage with Josh Prohibition, at his side at that time, that factor came into play. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? Just trying to work it out. With all those factors involved, you know, the fact that I was able to get the one, two, three, you know, it, it did wonders for my career.